Okay, now we start. Uh, we start with a lot of Hilchas Sefer Torah tonight. Fila. All right, a lot of starting the, the next this next week. Very very uh, very yisodistic stuff about about the background for what we do by laning and all oh, yes. Okay, so let's see. Where did you leave off? We are by the two dots, three, six, seven lines down on Chof Aleph Amid Aleph. Thank you. Getting my Lachayim ready. How much is this you want? Um, you get, oh, that's right. You got to get a Lachayim going. Why? You're finishing the dot tonight? Finishing a parak. Finishing a parak. Um, okay, so let's see. So, uh, so we said after we went through the whole list of like I don't even know how many things at the mitzvahs during the day something that's the mitzvah a whole day so it's kosher a whole day so why do you need to say that extra sentence for we just went through pretty much about every mitzvah that you could possibly have during the day so my answer is what's it coming to include so when you put when they did the lechem haponim, right, what do you call that? The showbread. Right, every Shabbos, they would take off the old lechem and put on the new lechem. So when they did that, they took bazichin, which is like spoons of spices, and they would put it down on top of the on top of the tail on top of the shulchan. Right. So so it's coming to include being taking putting them down and then taking them away. Could have yaisi. If you took the old bread from the lechem upon him and these bazichin in the morning, and instead of replacing the bread and the spices immediately, you waited till the night. That's nothing, right? And meaning it's it's not a problem, right? Because um, it just says long because the Gemara says, oh, but it says that the lechem of Potom should be in front of Hashem constantly. What that means is, that means the shulchan should be, shouldn't be without bread on it overnight. But as long as, as long as overnight there's always bread on the shulchan, that's enough. So that's what the Mishnah is coming to include. Okay, fine. Dover that's mitzvahs at night is kosher a whole night. La suye mai. What's it coming to include? La suya achilas psachim. It's coming to inclu- include eating the carbon paste off with the like of Allah ben Azaria. Not like of Allah ben Azaria, as we all know, the tani of Achlo is a boss of the You should eat the meat that night. Amar on this night. Amar of Allah ben Azaria. Never can be laila hazeh. It says here on this night. Never la halon ba varti beretz mitzrayim be laila hazeh. Hashem went through mitzrayim. At, at night, right? By Chatzois. Ma'ala halon at Chatzois. Just like over there, it was till Chatzois. That's when when, when Hashem told Moshe Rebbein he's going to kill all the Bukhars. So that was Chatzois. So Afghan, Chatzois. So, so too, the carbon Pesach also has to be eaten by Chatzois and not any later. Right? Which is, if anybody remembers the Avnei Nezers tonight, right? If you say there is running late, right? So you're not supposed to eat you're not supposed to eat afikoim. You're not supposed to eat anything after afikoim. But let's say you say this running late, and you need to eat the afikoim, but you don't. But you need to still eat a meal. So what yeah. he says with the avodinazers tonight is like this. He says what you say is if I go like Rebbe Loza ben Azariah, who says um, that you only eat it till chatzos. So once the mitzvah is done after chatzos, I'm allowed to eat whatever I want because it's no longer the mitzvah of carbon pesach. And if the Allah is like the Chachamim, which is what we pass, which is what our mission is saying, so then you're allowed to eat, you, you have a whole night to eat the Karman Pesach. So you don't, you don't have to eat the Api Karman before Chatzos. Right? So that's the Avni Nezus tonight, which some people make. I think in the Horowitz household, they do this. No, Zebo? Yeah, for 20 years, I had to make the Avni Nezus tonight. <laughs> in the Horowitz household, they're first getting rolling by Urchat, by Chatzos. Right. That's why it's the first getting in the middle of my mind. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, so that's the end of the parak. And uh, we should continue to make many more uh, on uh, on profit. L'chaim. To, l'chaim. 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 Yeah. Parrots, where are you at? The Chasana? Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Okay. Bye then. Um, 
I don't know if I'm supposed to be at this chasana. I have no idea. <laughs> I guess somebody not. did ask me. Somebody asked me where you are. I'm not sure that I have no idea. I, maybe I got invited. It's nice to show. I forgot about it. I, I don't know. Where's the wedding? COVID recovery. Where is the wedding? Muncie. Muncie. I ain't going to the wedding. Uh, okay. I never got an invitation. Shine. <laughs> okay. Um, fine. I got to have a chasana tomorrow night. We're up in Muncie, and I plan on going after the daf. That's that's the plan. I hope no traffic, no traffic. That's the goal. Okay. Anyway, zog the, zog the next parak. Yeah. Now, so this parak. Now we get into a lot of hilchos kriyas atayra. So atayra is megillah. I made the One who reads the megillah can read it either standing up or sitting down. If one person reads the megillah, or if two people read the megillah. Then that, then you yotze. Meaning, if you just, you can't figure out who should who should read the Megillah for the Amr, whatever for the Chazan, so you can get two guys two, two guys to do it. Malcolm Shnogel Levarak Yevarach. How do you know? How do you know whose voice you're listening to? Yeah, so we're gonna see in the Gemara. So we're gonna see in the Gemara. Yeah, fine. So Malcolm Shnogel Levarak Yevarach, and the Malcolm that it's the minig to to. Make a bracha, you make a bracha, which we're going to see in the Gemara also that means the bracha after, because the bracha before for sure you make. For shalai levarach, lo yavarach. And if the minig is not to make a bracha after the Megillah, then you don't make a bracha. V'sheni v'chamishi. Now that's it. So that's Megillah. Now we get into the Kriya Satayr. V'sheni v'chamishi b'shavis. On Sheni and chamishi b'shavis. V'mincha karin shloisha. On Monday, Thursdays, and mincha, Shabbos mincha, you read... You read three aliyas. Ain't Pikesen man, vein Masivan, and you you don't do less than three aliyas, and you're not allowed to do high suffers. Why are you not allowed to add aliyas? Because of Tirchad Tzibura. People have to go to work. You can't start having. You can't have Shabbos, more. Uh, Shabbos Mincha. What? Shabbos Mincha. We yeah, are. So why not Shabbos Mincha? I think it just goes along with the rest. Once, once these three. Where three, are not, once, are three, where is three? I could get Tirchad Tzibura. Where that's that's we're gonna see in the Gemara. We'll see in the Gemara that it comes out, uh, yeah. But that's the, that's what it is. Yeah. Well, well, Rashi really says it right here. Rashi says it in the Mishnah. I guess Rashi answered, forgot that part, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, Rashi, you see the Rashi in the in the middle of the Mishnah. Yeah. I right, says it's, it's it's close to Shkia. Um, and it's close to dark, right? Because they had drushes the whole day. So usually they have a mincha much later. So that's why you can't have extra aliyas. doesn't say why. I'm saying the stomach because you have to eat each other's shudas. Yeah. Kurtziatov. Yeah. Ezra was masakin. He was masakin that they should have on, on Shabbos afternoon or during the week as well. Who was masakin during the week? Who was Meisha it's a Gemara Ezra. and Baba Kama, right? It's a Gemara and Baba Kama. Rashi says it was Ezra. I thought I thought Meisha Rabbeinu was the one who was masakin for because it, it, there weren't supposed to be three consecutive days without Tyre, right? Correct. That's I thought it was Meisha Rabbeinu. Why does Rashi say that it's, it was it was Ezra? No, I don't think it was Meisha Rabbeinu. I think it was Ezra. Meisha was not so. What uh, was Meisha uh, masakin? Only Shabbos. That's what that's what the Archko says. It says what? Moshe instituted that the Torah should be read publicly on Shabbos, um, and they, Monday and Thursday mornings, so that the three days not go by without Torah reading. 21 generations later, Ezra instituted a public reading on the Shabbos and Mincha as well. In addition, Ezra instituted that the already established reading on Monday and Thursday should be divided among three people reading a total of at least 10 verses. And that was, that was who? That was Ezra? Yeah. Yeah, so that's what it is. That's what it is during the week. Because you should oh, so be Rashi means go. Rashi just means that he was masakin the three people, not meaning oh, the Moshe, oh, Rashi doesn't mean that Rashi, Rashi, Rashi doesn't mean that he was masakin in, in general. He means he was masakin three. No, as it was and, as as a think, you look at Rashi songs. As a thinking, so you call him Bashani. No, that's not what it means. Moshe Rabbeinu was wasn't masakin that, that they should read on, 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 on during the week. That's what we just said. So Rashi just means that they were, he was masakin. What the mission is telling us, he's masakin three. He was he shelled about how many no. people should be reading on 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 the No, he also was masakin that on Shabbos afternoon they read from the Torah. right, right, right. But Rashi says also on Shani Bechamishi, which doesn't make sense according to the Gemara Bava Kama. 
The Gemara Baba Kama says Moshe Rabbeinu is a Masaka in that. So what is Rashi saying that, that Ezra was the only Masaka on Shani the Chamishi? That it's divided into three. Right, that's all Rashi's saying, that it's just divided into three. That he's not saying, that it can't, he can't be saying that he was the only Masaka in that. That was Moshe Rabbeinu. Well, um, yeah, but, okay, I'm saying, but the reason was that you shouldn't go three days, right? Right. So what, so why Mincha then? Why Mincha and Shabbos, um, Akiva? That I don't know. That, but that, that was clearly Tikkun Ezra. That was not Tikkun Moshe Rabbeinu. I mean, we read it in the morning. What are you saying? We read, we read in the morning. What we, what right, we, so what do you need it by Mincha for? Right. right. What do you need it by Mincha? Right. Yeah. Um, Okay, I don't know. I'm not sure. I, I meant to look into that and then I, and I forgot. Anyways, okay. So, Bishani Bechamishi Bishabas Bimincha Karan Bishani Bechamishi Bishabas Bimincha Karan Shloisha. In Pachsaman, Vain Masivanan, we don't do less, we don't do more. Vain Maftirin Benavi, and we don't make Haftaira on Novi during these, during these times either. So, right? For the same reason. The one who gets the first aliyah and the one who gets the last aliyah makes brachas. Meaning, this is totally foreign to us, which the Gemara on Abba is going to explain. But back then, not every person that got up, first of all, the way it worked is every person that got up read the Torah. It wasn't like now that you have a Bal Torah. And the first person that got up made a bracha, Asher Baruch Banu, and everybody else just got up in lane. And then the last guy made the bracha or asher nasan lan or tayra semes. That's it. It was just two brachas. Right? Um, uh, yeah, so that's the way it worked. What we're going to see in the Gemara, why we don't do, we no longer do that. But that's, that's, that's what it was. The first person that got in Leah made the bracha before and the last person made the bracha afterwards. Right? Shul must have been a lot faster back then. Yeah? So Because we, we love our mains. A hundred percent. I was thinking the other way. Like, Another reason why our dar is, is so much more chashav than previous daras, right? The davening is longer, the kriya satayra is longer, so many aliyas and politics and this. Yeah, yeah. But see, the were you hand, the one that said it was chashav that during, during the first few months of COVID, it was chashav that we didn't go to shul because nobody was talking during davening? Yes. How does that, and, and and that doesn't fit with what you're saying now. Yeah, and then, The longer true. davening is, the more people talk during davening. True, true. Right, that's true. But also, uh, what do you call it? But the only thing is, we have it easier that we don't have to lane. Imagine all the politics goes away if you have to actually, you know, oh, you have to actually read the, I don't want an Aliyah, give it to somebody else. <laughs> right? That's going to take care of it all. Maybe that's the Eitza. Maybe that's the Eitza. Make everybody read the Aliyah, and then they'll run the other way, myself included. Okay. So anyways, so ain't Paichsin mehen, vein masif and Aleyan. I'm sorry, I skipped. Four people get aliyahs, right? Tomorrow on Shul, if any case anybody never paid attention, um, there's four aliyahs tomorrow. You don't do less and you don't do more. There's no haftar on the Navi. Also, because since people are going to work, so there's no haftar. And the same thing, the one who gets the first aliyah makes the bracha before, and the one who gets the last aliyah makes the bracha after. If there's a day that has musaf, but it's not yomtif, which essentially is just Rosh Chodesh and Cholamayid, Karan Barba. Yeah. Oh, I forgot, it's my mother-in-law's yard site, Rivka Bas Menachem Mendel Yosef. Yeah, fine. Be yomtif, Chamisha. On yomtif, we read five. You get five aliyahs, be Yom Kippur, Shisha, be Shabbos, Shiva, and Shabbos is seven. Ain't parts of man, there's nothing less. Avo Masif and Aleyan, but you are allowed to add on. On Shabbos only, you're allowed to make Hosafas, not on Yom Tif. I don't know what the Minhagim are and the Shtibalach and all that, but <coughs> that's them on Yom Tif, you are not allowed to make Hosafas and not on Yom Kippur either. But Shabbos, you are allowed to. And what happened to the Yom Tif and Shabbos? What? If it's Yom and Shabbos, good question. Good question, Naftali. Yom and Shabbos, Chiluke Day, that should have been, we should have known that answer too. Some say you can, <laughs> right? Some say you can, and some say you can't, right? Um, if so the, the reason is, if the reason, 
And so go ahead. If the reason we don't add is because of work, so why can't you add on Yontif and Yom oh. Kippur? Ah, oh, very good. Very good. So uh, what do they say the Pshad is? Um, um, no, no, because you don't want to make it like Shabbos. You want to show that it's different than Shabbos. If you're going to allow Hesophos, then there's going to be no clear definition, uh, differentiation between Shabbos and Yom Tov and Yom Kippur. So you want to keep it. That's one Teretz, that they, you want to keep it different. Fine. And they make Haftar and Novi. And the same thing. So the question, the obvious question, is that the Mishnah three times, when it discusses the regular laning during the week, when it discusses the laning on Rosh Hashanah, uh, Rosh Chodesh and Cholam and when it discusses the laning on Shabbos, or each one says that the first guy gets makes a bracha and the last guy makes the bracha. Why do you need three of them? Right? So that's Taisus Kasha. Taisus asks, why do you need to say it three different times? We know that the, the first person to get called up makes a bracha, and the last person that calls up gets, gets makes a bracha. Okay. What's the shot again? again? The Mishnah says three times that by Kriya Satayra, the first person who gets Aliyah makes the bracha before, and the last person makes the bracha after. It says it three times in the Mishnah. Why does it have to say it three times? One time is enough. Mm -hmm. So Taisa says, no, maybe, maybe you would think that if the more people that get called up for Aliyahs, then you have to already make individual brachas. So that's what it's telling you. No, even if you have seven Aliyahs, even if you have Haisafas, right? It's not... Uh, you still don't make a bracha before and uh, and what, uh, what after. do we do it today? Oh, so we'll get that in the Gemara number base. We'll get that in the number base. Yeah. Oh, so an interesting Gemara. This next one is interesting. So we said by Megillah, you could either do it sitting down or standing up. Right? So the first time I actually saw it, I once walked into a house on uh, on Purim afternoon and I saw Chashiva Rosh Hashiva sitting on the couch reading the Megillah to his wife. It was romance. It was pure romance, but it was it was interesting. I was like, "Well, oh, he's sitting down reading the Megillah." Like, why not? Why not? So like, what does he have to stand up for? Right? The Mishnah says he's either standing or sitting. Okay. With a cloth. With a cloth, yes. With a cloth, yes. <laughs> why talk do we do it while standing? Just... No, but tzibur, it's covered at tzibur. Anything we do in the tzibur is covered at tzibur. So we do. Does the sure tzibur have to do what the balkari does? No, the tzibur sits. Most of the tzibur sits. No, I understand what they do, but I'm saying if the shliach tzibur, if the balkore is reading it standing up, maybe the tzibur has to no. stand up also. No, so isn't it like uh, isn't it like shamei kaina? Like you have um, like by kiddush, if somebody's saying kiddush standing, you have to be standing, right? You no, can't do so one second, no one second. It's it's a little it's a little confusing. Truth, when somebody making kiddush is standing, people are allowed to be sitting. It's the opposite that's a problem. If the person making making Kiddush is sitting, then the other people shouldn't be standing. And that's because Kiddush needs a Kviyas. In order to be mighty somebody, everybody has to be sitting in the same Kviyas. So if, some, if the, if the Makadish is standing, so somebody sitting can still be considered part of his Hebra. But somebody who's sitting for Kiddush and everybody else is standing, that, that doesn't look like it's part of the same Hebra. So that's a really a little bit of a different issue. As far as I know, most places, almost everybody, almost everybody, uh, sits for Megillah. I personally started standing simply so I don't fall asleep. Right? Because I was last parak. I did a few misnamnim, so you have a problem. Yeah. Anyway. So Tana Mashen but Tyra, to Kriyasa Tyra, you have to you have to be standing. Come stand here with me. So this is Hashem talking to Moshe and it says, sounds like come stand here with me. If the Pasuk wouldn't have said this, you wouldn't be able to say this. That sounds like even Hashem was standing. Right? So, but that's what it is. It's, the Gemara usually doesn't ask this. It only means Kaviyachal if the Rabbanisham is standing. Correct. But that's what the Pasuk sounds like. Sounds like the Rabbanisham was standing. Yeah, but the Gemara says, the, the, the title says this a lot of times. And we don't ask this. Yeah, what? Well, it makes it sound like it. It makes it sound like these things. Yeah. Meaning the Gemara, because we have to, the humans have to understand it in their terms. But it doesn't mean literally the Rabbani Shem was standing with them. Like, what's the Gemara asking? That, that's, you, it's not, I don't think it's asking. He's just saying a statement that if not for that. I think, isn't that where he gets it from? That we have to stand? It's not from Aishra Beinu. 
What was he supposed to do? Sit? Where, where was he going to sit? There's no kiss. He's, he's in Never Never Land on top of our Sinai. But yeah. the fact that it looks like that Abishnu was standing, that's how we have to stand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so, but the bottom line is do we have to stand for Kriya Satyra? Right, Dava, you're asking that about Megillah. What about standing for Kriya Satyra? Right? Oh, yeah. So it's actually a machloikis. It's actually a machloikis. The Maisa, we paskin maker adin, you do not have to stand for Kriya Satyra. Right? The Paisk can say it's better if you stand. It's better if you stand, but you don't have to stand. There's no chiv to stand. However, why not? Is a, why not? Because, because it's the Balkara that has the issue. The Shaimim don't have that, don't have it. However, for Baruch Hu, you do have to stand. That's there's no way around. Baruch Hu, you need to stand. Yeah, but maybe you could explain quickly why there are certain parts of the Torah where people do stand for it. Sir. Ah, that's a big issue. Parsha. That is a big issue. All right. So how do they so answer the people that? stand up, right? So people stand up for the Asara Sadibras and they stand up for the Shira. And there's a lot of placement that say that's not good because they shouldn't do that, because then it looks like there's something more important about them, like the Aseris Adibras, than there is the rest of the Torah, which may play into the hands of the Apikarsim. Right? So no, we, we stand up, those who sometimes people who stand up for the whole Aliyah. Right. So that's why some say, okay, so don't stand up in the middle of the Aliyah, at least stand up before the Aliyah. So it's not so obvious. Right? But that's the basic, that's the basic thing. The that's what for Zachar? What do you say? The same goes for Zachar? I don't see why Zachar should be different. I mean, everybody stands up because it's their ISO, right? No? So is it their ISO the whole whole on standing? It's no, there's no, you shouldn't have to stand. I don't think you should have to stand because it's a der I think just because of the chashivas of the whole thing. So then that's, uh, that's why. Well, you have to stand because you don't want to be the only one not standing. <laughs> okay, but that's, uh, that happens to a lot of things in our religion, right? Anyway. Um, yeah. See, so, so, I, I used to dive in Barabu Yashiv on, on uh, Shabbos morning a lot when I was in Israel. So in his uh, minion, the Elam did that. They used to stand for the for the for Baruch Hu and the Bracha, and then everyone would sit down. Most of the Elam would sit down. I don't remember what he did. Most of the Elam yeah. would sit down for landing. Yeah, that's what I remember. Yeah, look at Rav. Very good. So that's Maisa Rav. That's what you're supposed to do. I mean, whatever Maisa of the Shul of the Rav. Right? Um, yeah. So Vamar Rav Avo, Minayin L'Rav Shala Yeshev Agabi Mita V'Yishana L'Tamila Agabi Karka. How do you know that a Rav shouldn't sit on a bed and teach his Talmidim who are sitting on the ground, meaning they should be on the same level. Right? Rashi says either they should both be on the floor or both be on the bed. Shanemar, because it says, imadi. Stand here um, with me. All right? So that sounds like they should both be on the same level. Can you imagine? Right? From Moshe Rabbeinu to Rabbi Gamliel, you had to stand when you learned. And when Rabbi Gamliel passed away, then the uh, sickness came to the world. And then they would learn Torah sitting down. Once Rabbi Gamliel was nifter, then there was there was that covered a Torah was bottle. Yeah. So Kosev and then the pasuk says the Gemara says Kosev Echad Rabbi Eishi Bahar, and I sat on the mountain. Because of and I'm standing on the mountain, right? I'm sorry, did I say stand on the mountain? is sitting on the mountain. I'm standing. So which one is it? Is he standing or sitting? So Amarav, Aymed Belaymed, he stood up and he learned. Yaisha Bashina, and then when he chazered, he sat down. So for the initial learning, he stood up. For the review, he sat down. No, Rashi, what it means. Rashi puts in Levade there. It wasn't with Rashi, the Abishta. With the Abishta, he stood. Oh, the Chazara. Chazara was by himself. So. Yeah. yeah, very good. Very good. Yeah. Oh, oh, Hanino, oh, 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 the what? 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 What is Levade? What is he saying? Shon is what? Levade? When Baish Rabbeinu did Chazara, it was Levade. It wasn't with the Abishta. As long as he was with the Ebishter, it was Amadi Madi. After the Ebishter Kaviyach left, then he did Chazara by himself, then he sat. 
Well, right, so you by himself. Yeah. So you're saying, so if he would have chazed with Hashem, he would have had to stand up. Is that what you're saying? I would say so from Rashi, yeah. I hear you. I mean, I can't okay. imagine wanting to sit if you're sitting in front of the Abish. I mean, what are you doing? Right. I hear you. Anyway, so it doesn't mean that. It means he bent, he was bent over. Right? No, yeshiva means um, uh, being ma'akiv. How do you say it? Um, it's just like staying, staying someplace. And they stayed in Kodesh many days, right? When they, meaning they, that's where they were from the Midbar. The easy, easy Gemaras, they were able to do standing up. The hard Gemaras, they had to do sitting down, which, okay, to me, it sounds like it should be the opposite, right? The hard one, you want to stand up so you can concentrate better. It sounds like, no. The easy Gemaras, um, and you that you understand easily that you could do standing up. The hard Gemaras you do sitting down. Was there Shmuel okay. Birnbaum's yard set yesterday? So someone posted the famous video clip of him and Rimlaib arguing oh, yeah. by a chasna. Uh, as, as, soon as, they the got, as soon as they got shred, they both jumped up out of their seats. When it gets ah. exciting, you jump up and you have True, right. <laughs> Right, I hear. So that's a paker from this Gemara. That's not like this Gemara. No, it's the same as this Gemara. Why? This Gemara is saying that if it's hard, you sit down. Oh, sorry. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's right. This it Gemara wrong. is. Yeah, but that's uh, but that's what's interesting. That uh, okay, I don't know. I maybe so different societies work. And I mean, it's famous, right? Rabbi Steinman did not have a back to his chair. Right, he always learned bent over. He didn't. He didn't feel you should sit down. On a chair. I never heard of anybody just standing and learning this man as Okay, fine. Bye to Gemara. Oh, so this is the Gemara where, where we're talking about multiple voices. So one reads, um, one can read the Megillah, or two people can read the Megillah. Right? But we said, Tyra not Tana on Tamar Beis now. Masha'en came to Tyra. Tyra, no. By, by, by Kriya Satyra, you cannot have two Bala Kriya because then it's too hard to hear them. So you have to. You have to you have to have one. Okay, so what's what's going on? Here's a Torah about him. But Torah, Echad Kaira Vechad Matargam. By the Torah, you have one person reading the Torah, one translating. Ubavach Laye Echad Kaira Bishnai Matargam. As long as you don't have one reading and two translating, what's the matter with having two translating? Right? Because um, because since it's Torah, we can't we can't allow for confusion. Right? So you have to be, you have to understand the mitzvahs. That's what Rashi says, right? But Navi, echad kaira v'shnayim. We're talking about by Navi, one could read and two can translate. Right? But actually, you shnayim kaira v'shnayim. We're talking about, but you can't have two reading and two translating, right? Um, and then the reason is Rashi says because by if you read the haftarah with two people, then it's going to be confusing. Nobody's going to know what the haftarah is saying, and therefore it's going to be a bizarre. Fine. Uba halu megillah and halu megillah. Afilu asara karen vasara matagamin. Even if you have ten people reading halu and ten people translating, that's that's also fine. The way they did halu back then, if your island remembers from sukkah, is that really one the chazan read it and everybody answered halaluka. But there were different versions of how you did it, but it wasn't. Uh, I guess back then, but it was also easier to daven halal, right? You had the chazan said, and everybody just said hallelujah. You know how, like, sometimes you daven a Sparty minion, and every once in a while, everybody just pipes up and says a word or something randomly. So that that's the way it was halal back then, right? So for my time, and what's the reason why halal and Megillah, you could have as many people as you want, right? This is the answer. Kiva the chaviva yavi daiti b'shami. Since it's chaviv to you, the Megillah is only twice a year. I mean, really once a year, but twice on that day, and halal once a month or whatever it is, not too often. So people pay much more attention to it. So therefore, you could have multiple people. Now, to be learned from this, a controversy it's, is why is it that Kaddish we allow multiple people? As Chazanim, we don't allow. But Kaddish really me'ikar adin, 
There should be one person saying Kaddish. The choirs for Kaddish is really not Ois Gehalten. It's yeah, really not the proper yeah, thing in Halacha to have the choirs. The Yekis do it. No, all the more. No. The Yekis do it. The Yekis do it. The Nets. The Nets. The, the Nets. Yeah. yeah, and uh, Yeshivas also. Yeshivas also. I mean, at least Mir Yerushalayim does it. Um, Beis Talmud, anything we have to do with Mir. I don't know about Brisk. Um, Chazanish was very strong with that. Is and you don't do there's no choir, we don't do the choir for Kaddish, and it becomes a disaster. So now they try to get everybody to sit in the middle. But the only reason why they instituted, as far as I know, is because of the machlaikis who gets the Kaddish, and people ended up not saying Kaddish, they a lot of machlaikis. So they said, okay, everybody can say the Kaddish together, but they didn't extend that to Chazor Sashats together. What's the issue? Because it's very hard to understand whose voice, whose voice are you answering, right? And they That's go. Right, I'm I'm the right the, the right I'm answering is enough. The answering is that's enough. That's enough for the right I'm. Does it count if you hear a guy saying Kaddish sometimes in shul? The guy's just running. No one's with him. No one's <laughs> answering. Does that you count? Do, you could people? answer twice. Yeah, you could actually answer twice. No, no I'm saying if he just... doesn't have a minion answering. Because the guy's either going too fast or too slow, not with the Tzibur. Well, the, well, the, the, well, the Eilam should hear. If the Eilam hears him, then they should do it. They should answer him. Whoever's near him should answer him. I, but he I doesn't need a minion? Historically, they started having more than one person say Kaddish during one of the plays. When so many people had died. What are you saying? Yeah, so whatever. That's in, but Listen, when we sat Shiva, we should never know from it, but we sat Shiva, we did not say me and my brothers, each one got one one a day to say it. That's it. So I think throughout the day, whoever Daven put Ahmed and the other Kadeshim, each one got one and that was it. Yeah, fine. Um, okay, why? So why? 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 You guys for sure wouldn't have thought about it. No, no, fine. No, each one got one Kaddish because what's the point of saying uh, saying it in a choir? It's not the, it's not what, the way it's meant to be. Icky, we did I'm fight over it. Nobody wanted to say it. I'm right. Yeah. You're right, Barrett. I'm asking Tsiak, what is the problem? Because we don't do multiple. You know anything else where we do multiple voices? Right? Because it is hey, Kali, and she. It's very hard to hear two voices. voices. One second. So this is oh, what, right. should Birkis I not say it? That's a good point. That's a good point. We do it. And that's and that's and that's and that's a bracha also. Also by Svartim. By Svartim they daven together. Oh, they make they have chazanim together. They have, they'll they'll say everything together in certain kehilas. The 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 kehila davens out loud together, but the chazan. No. They have multiple chazanim. Oh, no. Daven, no, yeah? no. Okay. No, you're right. They daven very it happens to be very nice when everybody chants together. Hundred yeah. percent. I don't understand. You we have a custom that started centuries ago during a plague. Why would we suddenly decide that we shouldn't do that? Why? Because that's not the right thing to do. That's all. And a Hanami, that most shuls, most shuls are are do it. Whatever the minute became like that, so they do it. That's all. I mean, is no there an issue? But let me ask you a question, Zev. If you're saying Kaddish and I come stand next to you and say Kaddish, who's getting the schus of the tzibur answering, me or you? Both. No, I should it be both? Only one. What am I doing? I'm saying whoever got to it first is the one that's doing it. No. I... That's, so that, should that's, I, that's, I, should I not say like Kaddish? Two, should I just let other people do it? It's like it's like two no. candles burning. One well, doesn't no, take away from the other. No, but two candles burning gives more light. That's right. Two people saying Kaddish gives a bigger... Yeah, but what? Uh, Does it really? I don't know. Does it work like a that? A sure. If it's not a Roy bomb. The Roy bomb is the answer. No, but it's, it's a more powerful uh, Kaddish. Maybe. Is it? Is it? I don't know. Saying, is that the way it works? The way I, the way I understood it was Trey Kali, Loi Mishnami, and The person can't hear two voices. So you're going to end up with a Tzibur split. Half the Tzibur is answering one, half the Tzibur is answering the other. Both lose out. But the Tzibur doesn't need Kavana to answer for who you're saying Kaddish for. We just need Kavana to say, Yehesh Me Rabba Mavarach. Yeah, so whoever, whoever, whoever he hears. Whoever he hears, sometimes. You're answering, you're answering one of them. Yeah, yeah sometimes just, you don't hear the guy in the front. Yeah, you hear you're the guy being, next to you. You're being mot, you're being mot, when you hear Megillah reading, you're, you're being Yotzi with the person reading the Megillah. Kaddish is not like that. 
Right, that's true. You're not being yoitzer. You're not being yoitzer. There's nothing you're being yoitzer. You're not being yoitzer. Nothing to do with being yoitzer. If you're answering, you can only answer one. You can only hear one. Why? You could hear all of them. Sure, you could. It's it's a court. You could. You're answering Yehishmi Rabba for everyone that's saying it. Megillah. Are you saying it's like the flag when they wave a flag and say this is when you say it? At some yeshivas, they all say it together in unison, like they all come together at the bima. That's also no good. I mean, I, I don't know. I just think that the change of custom that's been present for centuries is just an interesting uh, approach. Yeah, it is. I don't know. That's part of the disagreement, whether it should be done like that or not. That's it, that's what it is. Does this have, that, does you don't this have this, Yaakov. You don't have this on your Avela sheet, that if someone else is saying Kaddish first, shut up. No, because the Veda, like Dr. Zakaro is saying, the Minig and the Velt is everybody says it together. You don't have to be different. I'm just stating that some places do it differently. So I did it in my own home. When I go, when I was in Avelus, I said Kaddish along with everybody. I did that. I wasn't just that. In my own home, we didn't do it. That's all. Is this also and in the public? I'm going to do what everybody else does. This is also how yeah, I, would, I would have interrupted a long time ago, except I got another hour and a half. So you guys can continue that's, this long with that's, your that's why we're dragging it out so you could have entertainment on your way home. Simon, what were you saying? And there's something about this and the answering, but not really answering, but you are answering at the same time as everyone else and whatever. It sounds very similar to like the concept of the, the shul in Alexandria where they did the flags and stuff. That's a, so that's, like, a, that's a question. I, right. I, I, that's like, what I was saying. There's a, there's a difference the between outcome. that and answering. If you're answering, you can only answer one person. Just physically, you're, you're only capable of hearing one thing at a time. It yeah. seems like we can hear two, but you can only hear one. That's because I'll say, Trey Kali Le Shami and Shi. However, the wine McGill, you could have close of saying a main. The wine McGill, you could have 10. Why McGill, you could have 10. Because everybody's listening so well. Because people that trait Kali so Inji is, is going on two different things. They're saying the same thing. That may not apply here. You're saying the same, same word. What do we have by uh <laughs> in the past and if you uh person there are multiple people at once? Yeah, really you could do that. Yes, that's true. That's a good point. So isn't that isn't that good, Kasha? Wait, no, that's only according to the rush. We pass it like that. Look, but the Rosh says it's not a real Atars It's a good Kashi. So, no. It's not a real Atars Nadarim. They do it that way. It's not a real Atars Nadarim. <laughs> are you going to tell me all the Yerushalmis are not having a real Atars Nadarim now? You're starting off with some... Uh, hey, it's some... Yaakov. Yeah. Good Kashi, huh? A hey, good Kashi. Yeah, it's a good Kashi. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're going by it. The, the, but Siyaka, yeah. they do bring down that even the Chaviva Yavli Daitayu Vishami means it's a, it's a machlek is how, how they understand it. Does it mean that you could hear both of them or, or hear one of them? According to the one that said you could hear right. both of them. That's the, true. They're, the they're other they're on partially the principle of the idea of, of that you can't hear two voices. If it's Yo, right. if it's Chaviva Layu, you could hear two voices at the same time. Right. There's not Fair Feminism Alafa in regards to that. Yeah, yeah, no, that's true. So, that's so true. That, that's not a, the idea of Trey Kaila is not 100% absolute, according to everyone. Yeah, again, there's, two, there's a couple of ways to do that. Right, 100%. Okay, very good. So, the makam that the minig is to make a bracha on the Megillah, you make a bracha. That's only if you make it after. But to make a bracha before mitzvah levarach, that's a mitzvah to make a bracha. Before the Megillah, the Amar the Gemara will say in a minute what the bracha is. The Amar of Yudam or Shmuel, Kala mitzvahs kulam mevaruch alein over la siyasam. All mitzvahs you make a bracha over, which we normally translate over as afterwards, but after you did it, which really means before. My mashma, that's what the Gemara asks now. My mashma, the high over lishna dak do mehu. Where did you get it that this over is a lashon of early? So Amar Rav Nachum Bar Yitzchok Amar Krov Ayoritz Achimatz Derech Hakikar Beyavaris Akushi Achimatz ran through the Kikar through the valley. What is it called? Valley plains. Rabbi Yavaris Akushi, and he took over the Kushi. Meaning Rashi says he went. He he was fast, so he overtook him and went in front of him. So that's where you see the word Vayavar means to go before. Abaya Amar Mehachal. Abaya says because it's who over Lifneim. Yaakov went first before Esav. So Avar means he went first. Or from here, right? And it says again, and the king went in front of him, and Hashem was at ta, as, as was at the front. So you see, means before. 
What bracha do you make before the Megillah? Rosheshes mikatrazia iklu lekamei deravashi uparich. Very interesting. Rashi Tevis Manach, which stands for Rashi says Al Mikra Megillah. That's the Mem. Shasa Nisim. That's the Nun Nisim. And Shechianu. They use it as a Ches. Okay. I don't know why they didn't use the regular standard way of doing Rashi Tevis here, but that's what it means. That's which is exactly what we passed them. Right. We make three. We make three three brachas. Yeah, lachare amai mevarech. What's the bracha after the Megillah? Baruch atah Hashem alekenu malach elam. Harovus rivenu. He fights our fights. Donas dinenu. Van noikim us nikmasenu. Takes revenge for us. Van nifla donam itzrenu. And he and he gets us paid back from our enemies. I mean, we what he gets revenge from our enemies. Van mashalim gemul lechol even avshenu. And he and he gives back what all our Enemies are supposed to get Baruch Ata Hashem Hanifrali Yisrael Mikol Tzareim that he redeems everybody from the Klai Yisrael from their Tzaras. Rav Amar Hakelam Meshia. Yeah, the words Hakelam Meshia. Amar Apapa Hilkoch Nemrenu L'Tavayu. Therefore, say both Baruch Ata Hashem Hanifrali Yisrael Mikol Tzareim Hakelam Meshia. Right? Why not get in both opinions? Which is the which is the way we pass them? That's the bracha we make after after the Megillah. Fine. Now we're now into the Kriya Satoru. So on Mondays and Thursdays, we three aliyas. Hani Shloisha Kenegan me. Why do three aliyas? Amar Avasi Kenegan Torah and Nevi'im Ksuvim. Because Torah and Nevi'im Ksuvim. Rav Amar Kenegan Kehanim and Nevi'im Yisraelim. Right? So those are three. So therefore, each aliyah goes with that. Elo Hadotan Rav Simi. Ain't Pachsim me Yud Psukim. Bebesa Knesses. We never say less than 10 Psukim in Shul. And if there's a pasuk of even though that pasuk really doesn't tell us anything other than it's Hashem talking to Moshe, that's still part that that's ten. So Hani Asara connected me. Why come? How come they say you need a minimum of ten? For each one pasuk, each one of the each one of the ten people that they always made sure that was in shul to make sure that there's always a minion learning. that within shul to make sure that there's always a minion learning. The reason why you need 10 psukhums is that said to by Moshe Messina. Reb Levi Omar, Kenegan Asar, Hilul, and Shomer Dover, the Sefer Tiller. Yeah, so that's a, whether you say that one or not, um, meaning some, the riff and the rush did not have this gear. So, right, so it's the 10 halalukas that it says in Tiller. Reb Yachan Omar, Kenegan Asar, my Mara, Shabbat, Nibra, Ilam, the 10 sayings from Hashem, which the world has created. Hey, Ninu. The, um, so which ones are they? Yeah. So all the Vayoymer that it says in Bereshus, right? Oh, Hani Tisha Hava, right? So that's only ten, that's uh, only nine times it says Vayoymer. Bereshus Nami, Maimer, who knows? So the word Bereshus is also Maimer. The Sibbutvar Hashem, Shamayim Nasu, Ruch Piv, Kotzvah, right? By the word of Hashem, everything, the world was created basically. So therefore, that's why we have ten psukim. So my rabbi, Rishon Shakara Dalit. So meaning, so basically, you have ten psukim, minimum ten psukim. So and you have three aliyas. So that means one ali is going to get three, another ali is going to get three, and the other ali is going to get four. Right? That makes ten. So which aliyah gets the four psukim? So my rabbi, Rishon Shakara Dalit Meshubach. If the first one gets four psukim, that's that's great. Sheni Shakara Dalit Meshubach. If the middle aliyah gets four, it's also great. Shlishi shikara adalid meshubach. They're all okay. Interesting. It's not up to us. It's not up to us. What? It's not up to us. But whoever, whichever rabbi rabbis decided when they which one reads the four psukim seems like that that was okay, right? I don't know why he picked such a long way of saying it. Why don't just say whichever aliyah gets four is fine. It's meshubach, right? It's saying I don't know. It's uh, interesting. So Rishon Shakara Dalad Meshubah, if the first Aliyah reads four Psukim, the Tanan Bashalish Kupa Shashalish Shal Shalish Sain Shabahan Tarmanas Alishka. The rights of if the island remembers from Shkalim. So there were three different boxes, right, where they filled up with the coins and they emptied each one as it came in, meaning the first Kabbalas came from the first box, second from the second, third from the third. And Alafay's Gimel and was written. Aleph Beis Gimel on it so that they know which ones they should spend first. Leida Ezem Hen Netram and Rishon Lahakar Imena Rishon Shemitzvah Berishon to know which one came in first so they can be makar with it for the first and because that's a mitzvah to come in the first. So you see that there is something to 
doing the the initial the four psukim is with the initial aliyah. And so Shakara Bar Mashubach, and if you do the middle aliyah, the Levi gets four, the Tanya, El Mul Pnei Hamanaira, Yiru Shiva San Yiru Yiru, sorry, Yiru Shiva San is the rest of the Pasuk, right? So opposite the Manaira, so they like Malamach and Mitzadit Pnei and Klape Ner Marabi. So what they did is they basically you had the Manaira who did not have eight branches in the in the base of the like we discussed, it had seven. You had the middle, then three on each side. So you they they pointed the they pointed the the ones on either side towards the middle because that was the most that was the by the west. But Nermarabi Klapi Shrina and the Nermarabi is opposite the Shrina. So that's why you see that the middle one also has Hashivas. So you see from this that the middle one is the most Meshubach. So therefore, if you give the middle Ali a four psukim, that's also good. And if you give it to the last one, it's also Meshubach. Meaning you go three psukim, then three psukim, then you go up to four psukim. If you do four first, then you're going down. Fine. Once, once we're picking just just the uh, sayings, why don't we just say Achrin Achrin Chavit? Malam B'Kaid Shrei Meridin is going to make a problem with the first two. I don't know. I don't. Is Achrin Achrin Chavit a thing, or we just does that by speeches? No, it's brought by Gemaras. Is it? Okay, it's like, so yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm saying what in what in what in what. Uh, context. I'm not sure yet. In what context is Achrin Achrin Chavit? I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting, maybe. Look into that. Yeah, Rapapa Iklu the Beknisha the Beguvar, right? This seems to be a very famous show. We had it a few times. He went to the Shul by a Beguvar, but called Rishon Arba, the Shabhe Rapapa. They read four psokim for the first Aliyah, and Rapapa was Mishabayah them. See, David, it sounds like every Shul had the option to split the psokim whichever way they, they felt. Fine. Maybe Rapapa, then. We, we don't have that choice now. No, yeah. now you're right. No, nowadays we don't have a choice. Baruch Hashem. I don't think we are right to make this choice. So I think uh, I think it's good that we just go with their with the way they do it, right? Yeah. So eight parts. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but if we broke up, if, if the the parshies were broken up by by the by like the non Jewish oilam, uh, right? Mm -hmm. Who broke up the parsh the parshies in in seven in the seven uh, uh, aliyahs? How do we? How do we come? How, how do we decide on, on what those are? Because they're not. Uh, I don't. I don't. There, there's a, there was a system. I don't know exactly who did it, who made the system, but there was some form of system, mm -hmm. of like how it should be split exactly. Because that's why sometimes it's so odd, right? There's like you could have a long, long aliyah, and then you have. It a wasn't just aliyah. picked out of a hat. As far as I know, not. As far as I know, not. I do have to say a Maisa Shahaya that my father and mother told me that happened in Shayash of one year Kippur. So I'm not going to, I mean, I was not going to know anyways who the Gabai was. Reb Rafe, I wonder if you were there. I don't know. Um, so Reb Amos Bunim, Zachan Rachel, used to always get Mafta Yaina. Mafta Yaina was his on Yom Kippur. And one time the Gabai didn't want to talk. So he went to Rabbi Freifel and said, who am I giving Shlishi to by uh, Mafta Yaina? So Rabbi Five, I get. Maybe Rabbi Five didn't want to talk. He said, "No, no, like, like who else? Like everybody knows." It was Rabbi Bunim Saliyah, right? So he didn't. He just said, "Like yeah." So the guy thought he meant himself. So he gave the Gabai gave himself, gave himself Mafta Yaina, and Rabbi Freifeld, Rabbi Fry, you were there, Rabbi. Were you were there. So Rabbi Freifeld said, "No, no, 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 no. This pikuach nefesh. He made them make a high suffer. He made they made a high suffer to give uh, to, to give the actual mafter to 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 Rabbi Yunim. So, anyways, anyways, okay. So ain't pipes the main So you don't do less. You don't do more. Tana hapesech mevarech lefanea. The one who gets the first ali and makes the bracha first. Vachaisim mevarech lacharei, and the other one makes the bracha after. Vaidna the kulu mevarech lefanea lacharei." And nowadays, that every person who gets an aliyah, aliyah makes a bracha before and after. I know time of the tkinu rabbanon. The reason why the rabbanon was masakin is gzeira meshum ha nichnasin meshum ha because of the gzeira, the people that are going to come late to show and the people are going to leave early. So what's the thing? People come late, they say, one second, why is there only one bracha? What happened to the first bracha? And the first, people that are leaving early. You have to make a for all the light comes. It's a yeah, it's a fascinating gazera. It's a fascinating. Maybe there were no latecomers back then. 
Well, then why we would have, they make the gazillion? We have this. Uh, we have this in halacha a lot. I've act, I think I might have texted you this once or twice. Like, why do we care about the? Why? Why are we building our our, our services around those coming late? And you and you're talking about maybe extra brachas, too, right? Maybe it's a brachal of atolo. Right? Isn't that a possibility? I mean, obviously not. I yeah, obviously that. not. But I'm saying, but for the people that are coming late. Yeah, but no, but, that's, but is that true? Because also, like, there was a time period where where you would wash your, you do a negel vas in the morning, and then you wouldn't do it the rest of the day, right? Like, true. like, like. There's something else that I don't understand. So what are you worried about? That the person that leaves early is going to think that we don't make a bracha after the Torah. And the person that comes late, he's going to think that what? So we don't make a bracha after So therefore what? Next time he goes to shul, he's going to tell the guy, hey, there's no bracha before the Torah because I was in shul yesterday and they didn't do that. Well, does right? that mean because he never, was... ever, ever came on time? Well, no, either that, right? I'm That's saying he never he... came and saw what actually saying... happened. He never right. came before? Right, right. But and I'm saying in addition to that, even if he did, so what's he going to do? Take out the Torah when he's going to become the guy? The, the people in Shul are going to tell him, hello, you're making a mistake. Right? I mean, what's the Gezeira? So he's going to think that there's no bracha before. Shkoya, so when he becomes a guy in a Shul, they're going to set him straight. And they'll tell him no. Like, what is the Gezeira exactly? But well, Seattle, really- these people were learning Torah. They, they maybe were showing up to Shul once a week or twice. Like, or uh, the only time they learned Torah was was during when they when 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 they read the Torah. I understand this is when they learned Torah. What, right, but what's the chashash that he's going to think that we only make a bracha before and not after? So what? So he thinks that, right? I, Meaning, does it have, he, go ahead. Does it have something to do with uh, uh, because Shalai Berchu Batayra Tchila? I mean, that's Kiva. why. Maybe we think that's so. Why. It's also an interesting lashon. You have Takana and Gezeira in the same line. The Takinu right. Rabban and Gezeira, not Bazar Gezeira, Takinu Gezeira. It's not time a regular Gezeira. It's a Takana de Gezeira. Right. Whatever that means. Yeah. So I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not sure. I understand what the big chashash is is going to be here. That we have to stop this. Right. Um, okay, I don't know. All right, let's see a little bit by it, just because it's mamash negei to rishchaylish. It's a barashi chadashim uchal shemay karen arba. So if you look in a chumish, I don't know if anybody ever noticed this, or anybody if you're got an aliyah on rishchaylish, but they they double up a pasuk, right, on rishchaylish, and the reason for that is because the way you break down the psukim, it is. There's three parshias, three individual parshias that are read on Rish Chodesh. So one, the first one has a go, the first one has eight, the second one has two, and the last one has five. So there's a difficulty with how to split it up. So therefore, from, what was it go, from Levi to, to Shlishi or from, from Kayan to Levi repeats? I think the Kayan, from Levi to the, the Levi to the Yisrael repeats. From Marta Lohem, right? Kayan to Levi. Kohen to Levi, the Levi. Yeah. No. The last line for a Kohen is the first line for the for the Levi. Levi. Yeah, is that how it goes? I guess. Well, guess we got to learn the Gemara. So I'll, yeah, because it's all the Levi's only two psukim. So therefore, you're adding one. Well, for I, I get. I've right. gotten Kohen a few times. Ah, uh, I guess so. I guess that helps, right? <laughs> I, I never right. got Kohen. Maybe I when did. there's no maybe when there's no Levi, they also repeat it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, so let's see. So Bami Nei Ula Mirav Mirav Bar Rav Mirav. So Ula Bar Rav Esam Rav. Parshus Rosh Chodesh Ketzer. How do you Ketzer Karanos? How do you read it? Saves Bnei Yisrael v'Marato Aliyem is Kavani Lachmi. I mean Timnaya Psuka. That's eight Psukim. So Hechi Navid. How are we going to do this? Nikri Tre Tlasa and Tlasa Psukim. If we have two people read three, then Pashulu Tre. You have two left from that Parsha. You can't leave over a parsha less than three psukim. Nikri arba arba. So if you're going to do four four, pasha shiva. That's all you're going to have left is seven. Over well, we have a Shabbos having tray. Yom Shabbos is two. having chamisha, and then you have to split up a two and a five. So how are you going to do it? Nikri tray meha v'chan mehanoch. So if you're going to read two. From a Yom Shabbos and one from from the next paragraph on Tom Now, 
Ein maschilin beparsha pachas mishloisha psukim. You can't start a parsha less than three psukim. Likri tre meha uklasa mehach. And if you're going to read tre two from this and three from this, then pasha lu tre. Then you're left with two psukim from the last from the last parsha, which has five psukim. Right. So okay, whatever it is, that's the that's the that's the. I just wanted to get that in because it's rishchaydish tomorrow night already. Won't be rishchaydish anymore. So that's the that's the problem with the rishchaydish laning. So we'll see tomorrow exactly how how we figure it out. Okay. Fine. I go to Nacht, everybody. Parents drive safe. Right. What? Is that, is that, sometimes I see, I had a Rebbe that he says Kaddish to different people. And when everybody else says Kaddish, he says it very low. Is that the reason? Or you don't know? Meaning, do you, do you ever hear such a thing? A person says Kaddish, but very low. In order that okay. it should be? I mean, it doesn't help really to do that. I don't read that. I don't understand. What's the point of reading it so low? But then you're not doing anything, right? Then, uh, we really make her a din. One person should do it because the, I mean, we don't find it really in our lacha. You don't, you don't want to say such a thing because the, the island does it. The belt's not like that. Is that what it is? It's I'm not time. sure. I'm not sure. I, I don't understand. You know, why in your it's house did only one person did it? Because, because what's, the, what's the not the, because, what's the point in all of us reading it together? If, even for even for one father, it's certainly the same schus. The whole schus is that, that you say it, that people are answering through you, they're answering Eshmei Rabba, so it's a schus for the nifta. Right. You don't want to take the uh, It's not a mitzvah on you? You don't get a mitzvah? You're getting a mitzvah, but the schus, the schus is going, I mean, the Chochmah Sodom actually says that, Elio. He says that if it's a schus to say Kaddish for somebody who is nifta, so Kol Shikain, it's a schus for you, Right, right. So he then you, you all lost out on a mitzvah. All of you that didn't say no, because there's no point. Once one was saying it, what again? We're going to saying the same. Once one was saying, what's what's it, what's what's it helpful to have seven say it at the same time? What's what's so, it doing? So can I ask you a question? So if, a person, oh, so if a person, so if a person, the only one is getting the schus. The loudest voice is getting the schus. Why? Where? Where because is that coming from? What does it help for eight people to say to say it? What does it help? So let me ask you a question. Let's say you live in, in New York and Paris lives in Zimbabwe. And yes, you have your right? We're in a different minion. Each one is in a different minion. But so we, but the Nishama can I'm get just, two schusim. Of course. So why can't the Nishama get two schusim? But the same them, Elio, but them, at least you think you're <laughs> yeah. right? So each by the them by Shiva House, each oval gets their own minion. Really? Yeah. 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 They try to. I mean, the large families might have an issue. No, but, but I, always, I always thought that that was because you're missing half the Kadeshan. Why? Let's say you have a minion. So you're the Chazan. The Chazan says Kaddish at times when the when the rest of the Avelim don't say I, Kaddish. I, I don't know. No, I didn't think so. I think it's that each one should have the schus of Davin from it, which I also don't understand because if we're going to have 20 people davening together and then we split it two, into two, uh, each one 10, so why is there more schus? If you go to a different neighborhood, so then I understand there's additional schusim. Here, everybody's going to be answering anyway. So that's why I thought it was every person for every Kaddish. Every time Kaddish is said, even by a different person, it gets a little bit more elevated. I don't know. I that's don't my know. own made up. That's not based on I have no idea. Or... I don't know. It could be you're right. It could can, be you're right. Can I ask you a question? Is this the same problem? Have you ever heard the term? These guys, they think they're like a backup Kaddish and Shul. So that could that be problematic also if you have the backup chazan who's yodeling louder than the chazan? So then you also pose problems in 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 field of zebra. Could be, could be. So according to this logic, if there's somebody saying kaddish, I should never say kaddish because somebody else is already saying kaddish. There's only one person who's saying kaddish, and he, I don't know, he gets dibs for the whole year. So the person I'm saying kaddish would never gets kaddish said because. There's only one person in every... What should I tell you? It's not, again, the, the whole point of Kaddish is that the person saying the Kaddish, the people answering him, right? That's a schus for the person. Why is it a schus to be a chazan? Because in the, the, you're the one that's causing everybody to be answering Omein and Yeish, Me, Rabba, et cetera, et cetera. So it's your schus. So if there's already one guy doing it, so what, what does it help that if you come alongside him and, and, and say it along? What, what does that do for anybody? Does it help the Neshama or the person he's saying it for? You're saying, apparently you're How saying not, so that person's out of luck. 
They were that all person's out of luck. Anyways. Let me ask you something, doctor. Somebody has a heart attack and you're taking and you're doing CPR, right? And then somebody that's comes not, behind that's you and holds your calculus. hand. That's what's irrelevant. That? That's not the same calculus as Ruchnius. Well, well, I'm not saying what's that? I, I come behind you and I, I put my hands down on top of your hands and I tell everybody, hey, look at that. I saved the guy's life. You turn around and say, what are you talking about? There are about? several neshamas that need an aliyah. So you're saying just one neshama needs an aliyah because we're going in alphabetical order? I no, mean, come on. But it's not a, no, but it's not. There's nothing. There's no point in having more people do it. There's nothing being accomplished. But, but then what's how do you get an aliyah? For, how do you get an aliyah for your nifter's neshama if you don't say kaddish? You do, okay. This so you, this feel you don't. The way so we you know, know, whoever you, your, your loved one is shortchanged. Right. Exactly. Was exactly. Thousand, exactly. One yes, second. That's, that's the, the halach. 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 That's the halach. <laughs> the halach in Shulchan is very clear. There's a, there's a kadima for kadeshin. And if you got left out in the cold, you got left out in the gold. That, that's the way it rolled. I have no problem. I have no problem. It's a whole simon in Shulchan who gets kadima. And you know what's fascinating? Right. There's absolutely no achnosis archim. A guest comes to the shul. He don't get nothing. I, what happened to Ashnazazarchim? So you should know, I think I told you, you know this, I told you the story, I don't know if you remember it, but I was dominating when I, my mother was lifter, so a guest showed up in Shul, and he forced his way, he made a whole fight in Shul, and he forced me off the Amud, and your uncle was there, Skolnik was there, and he came over to me, and he said, I guarantee you, it's on my achrayas, that the fact that you were Mavat there, and you didn't make a public fight with this guy who was being a bozo, even though you had Kadima, is a bigger aliyah and a shaman for your mother than davening for the amun. A hundred percent right. He's a hundred percent right. The morning, the morning after my mother was nifter, somebody told me I couldn't say kaddish because it, it was a yard site, twenty-five year, yard site for somebody else. So he had to say kaddish. So I thought that was an interesting approach, and I walked away. I shiva. The morning so after what happened? My, my, my mother was nifter erev yontif. So that next morning, I showed up to say kaddish. So I was told, well, so and so has a yard site 25 years. So I said, okay, if he has yard site, uh, you know, I don't want to intrude on his yard site. It's after Shiva because it's Yontif. It says Shiva's cut off by Yontif. You have to... That's nice, but you still say Kaddish as far as I know. No, I understand, but he's, he was questioning the Geshe during Shiva, and I'm saying it was cut off for him. Not so sure that. Why? Shiva's cut off by Yontif. That's the end of the story. It's a there was no, no, it was Cholamoa. There was no Shiva started yet. It's still the day after your, your parent dies. When I never understood that. Why would a yard site for Trump? When did prisoners... the parent die? When did the parent die? Cholamoa. Cholamoa, I remember that. Yeah. 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 So I don't know. Okay, so Shiva, he comes first. He comes before a yard site. No, but right. the person had 25 years yard site. You have to be, uh, you have to understand which more Chashev, and he made a Kiddush. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> Kiddush gets Kadima. Kiddush gets Kadima. <laughs> Anyways, I got to go down. Okay, so you can continue fighting it out, but that's whatever. That's what the, the, in Shulchan Aruch is it? In Hilchas Avelis. I think it's in Hilchas Avelis. It's uh, the end of Yeridea. Yeah. Kayla okay. Gimel and Yeridea somewhere. It's, but uh, yeah. Anyways, I, 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 you, you may even know, I'm not going to say the name, so I don't know, you may know who I'm talking about, but you weren't there, but years ago when I was in Yeshiva, so there was a Svarty Balchuva who had a kid, and at the shul, they made it in some, whoever his Svarty rabbi's shul and wherever, a deal, great, I don't know, one of these Svarty communities, <laughs> so they announced a, after, in the middle of Shankar, so it was on a Monday, the brisk, so they were Machavin the Avi Haben with Lehman. This guy could barely read Hebrew, let alone Lane. It was, it was a, it was a what's it called? <laughs> All right. That's why we are. One of those things they say, every yard yeah. site makes you, turns you into a, a shliach tibur. Right. Not just a shliach tibur, but a chazem elamis. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but there's a line, there's a line, what, you know. My, my, Your father made you into, my, made you into an oven. An oven, not a chaz, right. Right, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Anyways, my mother, was nifter nifter first day day yeah. my mother was nifter first day Pesach. My mother was nifter first day Pesach. Yeah. Right. Tal. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He does tal. I'm done tal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Wanna, wanna uh, we missed the bracha. What did you say? What? That we shouldn't know from these shilas anymore. That's all. We shouldn't know Amen. Yeah. Amen. Listen, you think I did, right. you think I did tal and shul? Gershon, you think I did tal and shul? 
I doubt it. I've done it before. It's not. Yeah. No, no. The rabbi made a minion for me in his house. No way. You did tal? Yeah. With, 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 he, did it by the, he did it by the Ferris parrots. Excuse me. Liner, the rabbi made a minion for you. Oh, you're right. Parrots. Parrots is the rabbi. Parrots, parrots. He meant you. Parrots, you're the rabbi. I meant you. You're the rabbi. Yeah, a guy comes out. Aaron Kaplan made such lutzonas tonight. A guy comes over to me and goes, You're Stein? Yeah. Oh, I was sitting with your wife. You're the rabbi? I see Harry Cavill laughing his head off. This <laughs> <laughs> <It was> Taylor Merrill. <laughs> he goes, I said, I'm not a rabbi. He goes, you don't have a show? I do have a show. And you get called up for an early I said, I get called up. They call me my rain. <laughs> I said, but I'm not a rabbi. And I get shleeshy every week. <laughs> And Ari Kaplan is <laughs> laughing his head off. Oh, it's <laughs> not exciting. Yeah, Shikaya, I get to know. Have a good night, Shikaya. I get to know. I get to know. I get to know.